Welcome to the Business Presentation Revolution. I'm here with my colleague, Michael Rickwood, who's going to be sharing with us what to do with our bodies while presenting. So Michael, our clients regularly ask us, what do I do with my body, my hands, my, uh, my face while presenting? What do you tell your clients? Well, Rose, what you're talking about is gestures. And we all need to use them on stage. But um, in order to be better at gesture, it's good to know about the four different types of gestures out there that we can use to be more effective communicators on stage. There are four types mm -hmm. of gestures. OK, what's the first one? The first one are called illustrators. Now, these are the gestures that you use while you're speaking. And these are great for, for three reasons. The first reason is that it helps people to absorb better what it is that you're saying. The next reason is because it helps you to channel stress. And the third reason is it helps you to remember your words as you're speaking. Mm, okay, okay, so there are some that we're using while we're talking, like the Italians do. Yeah. And then what's the second type of gesture? Okay, the second type of gestures, exactly on a cultural note, are called emblems. And these are the gestures that you're using when you don't speak or don't have any words. So gestures that really speak for themselves, all right? So, for example, Rose, you're from the U.S. In the U.S., you have specific, specific nonverbal gestures like that, which would work, right? Like uh, thumbs up or yeah. uh, hello. Yeah, exactly. Goodbye. Not every gesture works in every country, so that's something to think about. That's really important. If you're doing international business, one thing might mean something very positive in one country, such as our OK sign in America, and that could mean something very different in another country. So with cultural communication, it's important to have a little coaching on that beforehand. All right, and what's our next gesture, Michael? So now I want to talk about the face and what we call effect displays. Hmm. Now, the face is very, very um, expressive. And this is very useful, for example, with storytelling. We want to tell about a past experience. So the face is very, very important. And how can we make the most of it? OK, I love that. And something it makes me think of is congruence and how important it is that our facial expressions agree with what we're doing with our body. So if you're telling a positive message, having that effect of a positive expression, a smile, et cetera. And if you're delivering hard news, you might not want to be smiling with a teethy grin. Right? So, kind of like this, but also that these things, uh, facial expressions, also vary from culture to culture. In Latin Europe, you're going to be much more expressive th than, for example, in Asia. Anything else that we should know in terms of gesture types? Well, there's one more that I haven't spoken about, and these are regulators, and these are the gestures that you use in order to tell the audience what to do. They're called regulators, so it's simply a case of, OK, sit down, stand up, OK, everybody, please move to the other room. So these gestures are really about sort of interacting and giving orders to the audience. And I suppose something that a teacher might, might use quite a lot. OK, right. Such as? Yeah. <laughs> bring yeah. It down. I just bring it down. Yeah, you know, exactly. You're being, you exactly. Know. OK, yeah. perfect, perfect. Michael, now we know what to do with our body. Is there anything we should avoid? Yeah, there are certain gestures that we do that reflect or tell the audience about our negative inner states, right? These are called parasitical gestures, and you should try to avoid them. Things such as playing with your hair, your clothes, wringing your hands together, or, or, or anything that's giving those negative feelings away. And, and you can get rid of them by just either working with a coach or just watching, filming yourself and watching it back over to see what you need to eliminate. Pacing unnecessarily is another thing. Excellent stuff. Thank you, Michael. Now we know what to do with our bodies, what to avoid. Is there any last tip to share with our viewers? Absolutely. When in doubt, relax. Audiences love that. <laughs> I love it. So three things to remember. One, there are different types of gestures to use. Experiment. Two, avoid parasitical gestures, doing things unconsciously. Three, when in doubt, relax. Thank you so much for joining the business presentation, Revolution. We look forward to seeing you next time. And if you like what you saw, subscribe to us on iTunes and YouTube and follow us on LinkedIn.